A three-year-old attacked by a pit bull. And to make matters worse, the child's mother says the dog's owner left the scene. Jamel Lene has the story that you'll only see on News Channel 8. She joins us now live from Druid Road in Clearwater where the attack happened. Jamel. Well, good evening to you, Jen. I can tell you that these images, they are quite disturbing to look at. The mother tells me that her son, he was throwing his garbage away when this dog came up to him, licked his face, and then attacked. Three-year-old Daniel Peyton Church will never be the same. A pit bull attack left him with black eyes and 11 stitches. You give birth to a perfect kid to have a dog maul his face. And my son will have scars for the rest of his life from this. Peyton's mother, Mercedes Tuttle, says Peyton was with his grandmother last Wednesday when the attack happened. They were sitting on a bench in front of a food bank on Druid Road in Clearwater when Peyton went to throw his trash away. The dog approached my son, licked him, and snapped him in the face at the same instance. The grandmother rushed Peyton to Morton Plant ER. The dog or its owner were nowhere to be found afterwards. We have absolutely no information on him. Um, or the dog. We don't know if he has shots. We don't know yeah. really anything at this point about them or why they left. Peyton is now at Tampa General Hospital recovering in ICU after the wounds got infected. It is very disappointing that as an owner, you would just leave like that. She's warning others in the area to be cautious. So what's going to happen when another kid is minding his business and this dog isn't on a leash? Now, Tuttle has filed a police report, but they have very little of a description as far as this dog is concerned or the owner. In the meantime, she has created a GoFundMe account to help with his care. In Clearwater, Jamel and A, News Channel 8.